Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft on the Block. This is a Technic Pack tutorial series that I'm doing. And this is episode, I'm going to say probably episode 7, if I had to guess. Um, I've actually been away. You guys probably won't see a break in the videos because um, I have recorded a few ahead before I started posting. But I've actually been away on work, so I haven't played for close to probably a week um, up until today and I wanted to show you this I wasn't actually I was gonna do some prep some preparing I went actually out and started getting some clay but we need to do this before he goes away so um, this is a Pegasus and Pegasus are relatively rare and we want to tame the Pegasus so we're going to use an apple I'm gonna right click before we run into problems um, and I'm going to tame the Pegasus instantly with an apple you can tame instantly with um, bread you can use a certain amount of bread based on the different um, breeding levels of the horse or um, genetic level of the horse and pegasus are one of the top i think they are the top that naturally spawns and then you can breed different horses together and we'll get into that later um, i actually have another pegasus that i happen to find right by my house so this is the second one i did a little makeshift um, place so anyway this is this is the other one uh, the second pegasus the first one i named peggy um I don't know what I'm going to name this one. Um, how about this? People always wanted me to name it Glidy McHorse. I don't know how to spell that. Glidy Mc... Yeah, let's name it... Let's name this one Alex. I like that. I'll name this one Alex. And I'm going to take and put a saddle. And now we have a tamed Pegasus. All I have to do is right-click... And I'm on, and we can fly. And this is pretty cool. Um, so we can, like, fly around. And I was going to show you a little bit. I mean, I love, I've, I've said this a hundred times, but I love our spawn. We got an excellent spawn. Um, so here's our house. You can see that we got our little cabin. And we're going to do quite a bit of work. Um, I'm really not sure what to do next. Like I said, since I've been gone and kind of away from things, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to approach it. But... Um, Let's go ahead and do this. I was actually out collecting clay because I wanted to use clay for some different buildings. We're definitely going to have to build. Um, you can see that I have a little teeny, hopefully my other Pegasus is still there. Yeah, there she is. Um, I have a little teeny fenced in area. That's my temporary um, stable. Um, I, I like building stables. It's one of the things I find to be fun and interesting. So um, we will be doing that. I just wanted to... Uh, I didn't have the time and I had to get the horse before it despawned so the same thing was true with this one anyway shift to get off um, I'm just gonna grab some more of this clay so this gray stuff turns into clay balls um, you find it in water shallow water usually um, it's become it used to be something that was extremely rare in Minecraft and it's become extremely um, common now you just have to know where to look for it and what you're looking for a lot of times you just kind of miss it anyway um that horse will run around that pegasus i guess i should say and will tend to wander off um, one of the things we're going to want to do pretty soon is make a whip so that that isn't the case so that we can just kind of whip and they'll stay and then we can not have to worry about them wandering off they'll just sit kind of like a cat will do so anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some clay and like I said what we'll do um, I, I need to figure out what we're gonna do next we have a lot of options but one thing I do know is I'm gonna make a few outbuildings um, on the property one is going to be for um, one is gonna be for like a power station um, I'm gonna put all of our power and start to get a good kind of way to run power around between you know different things and another is going to be a um, workshop. I'm going to kind of move a lot of the stuff that I use for the workshop out of the house probably and into a more of a workshop um, which will have probably that that will probably be a big a big area um, and then I'll also have a warehouse which will be storage and really actually beyond storage it will be um, probably some of the auto crafting stuff and and we'll we'll put a lot of logistical stuff in that in that one so i'm gonna have some big buildings i want to keep the uh i want to keep the the house as a house i just kind of like i mean i like our cabin i like to be able to build and it just it's hard to take a house and really make it into anything useful in fact i probably will even i mean 
make it into anything useful that's like a, a workshop and stuff if you want to keep it as a house. So what I'll probably do is get some of, like I said, move some of the crafting stuff and eventually move this stuff out. So anyway, I, I have a lot to do. I have a lot to think about. Um, what I'm probably, I'll probably move this portal too because this thing makes a lot of racket. <laughs> but I might leave it down here. I don't know. Um, we might just make this the, the basement of our little cabin and it's got a portal in it and that's that. So let me see. I've done a fair amount of uh, wood gathering as well. I took, I just have been planting trees kind of randomly around the property. And then when they grow, like there's a good one. Uh, I'm trying to kind of, I want to leave some of the bigger ones like that one. I'll probably leave because that's a pretty interesting looking tree. And then I just cut down the little ones because I need the wood. Um, so we'll want to get, that's something else we're going to want to get going pretty soon is a, uh, is a tree farm. So anyway, we have so much to do, so many options. Um, we really need to get some sorting systems going. We need to get all kinds of stuff going so that we can get a quarry or some way to utilize resources. Oh, I also did some mining. I went in, I was completely out of diamonds and iron, so I went and did some mining, got 24 diamonds. Um, a little more gold. I think I have quite a bit of iron. I had smelted it down. Um, I've just been trying to get back in the swing of things because I couldn't even remember what I was doing. So I have 51 iron on me. Uh, I think I have some in the crafting table a little bit. I need to refine some more. I'll probably do that right now as well. So I'm going to stick some iron in the... There's a little bit more. Let's stick half that in there and refine it down to refined iron. And, okay, like I said, I just wanted to kind of catch you guys up a little bit. Um, I haven't been doing a lot, but I've been... I've been... Well, I haven't been building a lot. I haven't been progressing a lot, but I've been preparing a lot. So I wanted to catch you up on that. And like I said, I'm going to use this clay to make clay bricks and then make... Um, well, let me go ahead and show you. So you put four together. Oh, no, that's not true. We're going to take them and smelt them. I'm sorry. Put them in the furnace to turn them into clay bricks. And then we take the clay bricks and we turn those into... Um, we turn those into brick blocks, and then we'll use the brick blocks to make our house look cooler. Probably, <clears throat> we may do it in the cabin, or I may take it, maybe I'll, the cabin will come later, maybe I'll take whatever my next building is and and make it at least partially designed out of clay blocks. So anyway, I have a lot of work to do. Um, what I'll probably do is go ahead and start with um, clearing out some ground. Um, I've also been thinking maybe I need to get a destruction catalyst going so that we can do that more effectively, clearing out the ground. Um, so that's something, let's go take a look at what, what it's going to take to do that, and we'll see if I'm anywhere close. So that will be Destruction Catalyst is going to require four Mobius Fuel and four Nova Catalysts. And I actually have the Mobius Fuel. The uh, Nova Catalyst takes TNT, which I probably have enough to make some TNT. Let's see what it And it takes a TNT and a Mobius fuel, so I'm gonna, and that gives you two. So I'm gonna need. That's one, two Mobius fuel, three, four, five, six Mobius fuel, and I think I have the rest. So does that? Yeah, we're good. So now we're converting, we're storing energy. Now you can see we've actually got our Mobius fuel. Um, that's a decent amount. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get a little bit more coal into Mobius fuel. You can see that it. What happened there? Oh, it it, it had enough to immediately turn one into Mobius fuel. So. Our target is still Mobius Fuel, so we've got enough to make the Destruction Catalyst. That's probably what I'll do. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and construct that, because that is something we need to do. Um, let's see, am I prepared for that? I think I am. Let's uh, let's see, we got some gunpowder. We're going to need a fair amount of gunpowder. I have... 23 gunpowder. I need some sand. I don't have a lot of sand on me. I might need to go get more sand. Nope, there we go. So let's do this. So we need... How much did we decide? We needed... Four of these we need. So two, one piece of TNT. So we need two pieces of TNT and some Mobius fuel. So let's go ahead and get that. So... I'll just take that whole stack for now. Um see if I can remember past the last two seconds. I thought it was something like this, but I think I'm wrong. I think, oops. Nope. It is the other way around, I think, because this takes five. So this is going to be <laughs> like that, I believe. And then one more in the center. There we go. So some TNT. Let's go ahead and put our sand up here so we can get two of them. One, two, Alright, and then 
we needed the destruction catalyst, which we combine the TNT with the Mobius fuel. So we'll take two TNT, combine it with two Mobius fuel, and that should give us two apiece, so we get four of those. And then finally, we need flint and steel and Mobius fuel. So let's go ahead, we got a piece of iron. I don't have any flint on me. There's a piece of flint. And flint and steel. And that should be enough to make us so we need one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the flint and steel. And now we have a destruction catalyst. Very exciting. The, the other thing we really need to get um, to just make our lives easier. Uh, so the destruction catalyst, we'll go through that in a minute, what it actually does. And when, I, when you're getting ready to build, that thing is, is if you want to clear some ground, it's, it's something you must have. But the other thing we're going to need is a... Uh, Philosopher Stone. I'm not sure why I couldn't think of it. Philosopher Stone is going to be one diamond. Oh, so that's not bad at all. We could definitely make one of those as well. So we have the glowstone somewhere. What was it again? Four glowstone, four. Oh, and I even have some diamonds in here. So let's go get a little more redstone and some more glowstone. I think I have some glowstone down here. Let's see. There it is. Glowstone. We'll take a stack and dump that up there. And we'll take some of the redstone. Put that up there. Like I said, we're just really going to have to do some organizing soon. And I, I just don't like to do it until I have a place. So that is that is my next my next goal. So let's see if we can get this right. I think it was something like that. There you go. Philosopher's Stone. Okay, let me show you what this thing does. Now, the Philosopher's Stone is cool for a couple of reasons. Um, what's going on here? It seems like I can't... Nothing is working for me. <laughs> there we go. The Philosopher's Stone is really cool because it does a couple of things. One, I can transmute. Well, let me show. This is this is pretty cool. So I have some Mobius fuel in here. I'm going to take one piece. It will use the Mobius fuel as fuel for that Philosopher's Stone. So I'm just going to keep one piece on me for right now because the the uh, the Philosopher's Stone needs fuel as does the Destruction Catalyst. Okay. So if I take the Philosopher's Stone and I was to go over to the wall and just right click, it will transmute that piece of cobblestone into smooth stone right so i can just do one piece at a time if i charge it up by hitting c no by hitting what is it v yeah v you can see that i charge it up whatever the five levels it is and then if you click now i get basically that whole wall area let's see so now we can do a lot more at a time so you can see that now we're turning all of this cobblestone into smooth stone, which is definitely cool. Um, you can also do like a shift um, right click or an alt right click or something. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm not sure what it's going to do to my home. But anyway, you can see that that piece of... Mo oh, I think it's actually using something else. Maybe it's using the gunpowder right now or the, or the redstone. It doesn't seem to be using the Mobius fuel. Let's see, how much did we have... Yeah, I'm gonna guess that it used maybe used the gunpowder. Do I have any other fuel in here? Let's see. I don't think I do right off the top. Let's let's see if that works. I think we probably have Nope. So we got everything. So we're we're now all smooth stone, which looks, I think, a lot better. Um very cool. So yeah, so smooth stone is more fun than then cobblestone, and I could also turn it, I think, into dirt, but you can turn dirt into cobblestone and then cobblestone into smooth stone, and I think that's where you use the alt click or the shift click. Um, so anyway, that's one thing that that does, and then to, to depower, let's see, what do you do? You go C, oh, dang it. G. Oh, you can do, so these are the different transmuting, so in a line or in a panel, so you can hit G, or in a cube, so you can transmute into a cube. Um, and I think we wanted a panel. And then how you decharge this thing, I do not remember. That's something I'm going to need to figure out. Let's, uh, options, controls, sort inventory, pick a block, zoom, mode switch, charge, extra function, Release charges are, but that must be overloaded. It is. It's overloaded with sort inventory. Let's change release charge to be H. 
Let's see what that does. Hopefully releasing charge doesn't mean it's going to like release it on my house. It does. That's exactly what it meant. <laughs> you can do... So that's transmuting. When you do that, you can transmute um, mobs into other mobs. Um, so, and maybe... So release charge isn't what I want to do. I want to discharge. You would think this would be easy to do. Maybe it's like shift. Hold on. Shift V. There you go. Shift V. Goes the other way. So now I have discharge. You don't want to keep the thing charged. This, you especially don't want to keep charged. So as we do V, you want to do shift V to discharge it. So it's still rainy and there's still lots of junk out here that would, like whatever it was that just hit me. Something's hitting me. I can't even see it. Oh, that thing. <laughs> and because of the rain, I wasn't getting lit on fire. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, um, let me do this. So we've got the destruction catalyst ready. Let me get the get it, get the rain out of the way. I'll cook up some more food. We're getting a little low on food, and we're going to need some. Um, and we'll get ready to go clear out some ground and start building some outbuildings. So anyway, um, again, this is going to be more of a catch-up video. Um, to kind of let you know what I've been doing, but also we're going to do, like I said, some of the some of the EE stuff. So, oh, one other thing I was going to show you. That's what I um, got sidetracked. This is supposed to, yeah. So I kept doing it without really knowing. So when you hit C on the Philosopher Stone, you get a regular crafting table, right? So normally, if you just hit E and I'm not standing at a crafting table, this is my crafting. But if I have the Philosopher Stone selected in my hand, I hit C, then I get an actual crafting table. So we can just be running around, we can be anywhere we want, and we can hit C and we get a crafting table. So that's a super handy um, aspect of the Philosopher's Stone that we will be using quite a bit. It's really the one of the main reasons to have it around. And another thing we're going to want to get really quickly is a uh, is a alchemy bag, alchemical bag, so that we can have a lot of inventory on us all the time and not have to worry about that. So anyway, um, I have babbled on long enough, longer than I said I was going to, so I will, I will sleep, prepare to start using our... Uh, our destruction catalyst and then we'll get going. Hi right, guys, I'm back and had to sleep quite a while <laughs> to get a nice day, but we got one and we're hungry. Whoa. Excellent. Thanks for that, Mr. Spider. I thought you were supposed to be friendly during the day. Alright, let's uh, grab our food because we're going to need to eat that. I got another saddle too, just in case we... Oh, nice. Got a Another saddle and another apple. We have a friend waiting for us right outside. But we could use the leather because I keep using leather up for saddles. So anyway, let's go. We are going to go down here. Another Thalm Slime. So I'm trying to think exactly how I want to do this. Um, I'm probably going to have to do some filling and some... Some... <coughs> There's the 18 minute mark. Man, we haven't done anything yet. I'm going to have to do some filling and some flattening because I don't think we just want to fill this area. I think we want to, or I mean flatten this area. We probably want to fill some here as well. So let's do this. We'll start with just kind of showing you guys how this works. So we're going to take the, the uh, destruction catalyst. I'm going to start by getting down here a little ways because I'm not sure... I'm going to say, just to be safe, I don't really know. I don't know what I'm doing. So, we take this, and if we charge it up, uh, like that. And let's see, do we have different options for this thing? Nope, I think, I think that's it. So if I was to go like this, let's see. Right click. It's just going to flatten, bam, all the way out. So if I do that again, let's see if we can get this basically flattened out. You want to stand in the middle because you're going to get a 3x3. Three three. In fact, to get the most out of it, I would stand down one, but do it again. And you can see that the little item ball that pops out um, ends up just dumping right in my lap. So I'm getting dirt, and it's just dumping little dirt blobs in my lap. And then we can just do this by hand. There's just a few pieces of dirt here. So I'm trying to think exactly what I want to do, because like I said, I'm probably going to flatten this. Let's see, what does it take to get a filler? Let's look into this real quick. 
so gold gears, which we could probably hang, gold gears, we could hang with most of this. Um, this might be worth doing because what a filler will do is allow you to set landmarks and then it will fill in whatever material you put in there um, all around. And so it might be worth doing, um, although I need my sickle. Um, get rid of some of this grass. Although I don't know, I don't really know. I don't know if that's going to be worth it or not. So what I think I'm going to do is probably make these stairs um, go down. I'll probably go ahead and like, yeah, make a stairway down here just like that um, the rest of the way down. So it'll be what, full block, half block, full block half block and that'll bring us down to right here and then probably want to go a little bit wider before I go although I'm really kind of thinking about going into the um, into the side of the mountain a little bit I just really I'm really torn on this and I know this is not what this series is about is not me trying to decide what to build so I'm not going to do that but this is going to be our area um, this is going to be where we're going to put our next building so what I might do, let's see, this might make it easier. Let's go like this, something like that, that, that. Probably running out of... It'll start using things like coal. I had that a uh, Eternalist fuel, uh, not Eternalist fuel, Mobius fuel in here. And it probably, it used that up for sure. And then it probably will start using coal. And then once I'm out of that, I don't have any other fuel types on me. Redstone or um, any of that stuff would work as well. So you can see those little, little item balls um, and that's just dirt so we want to probably go over here anyway and get oops place some of this down so that would be useful the problem is with the grass in the way you can't if you place a block try to place it on grass it places it beside it or on top of it so grass is just a huge pain which is why I want to get that sickle so let me do this let me just get this area nice and flat and set up for what we're gonna do um, and then we'll we'll make some decisions on on how to go about the next steps. I'm gonna get it. I think what I'm gonna do is try to make it um, so that the edges are somewhat um, steep. I'm not gonna allow. I'm gonna have the kind of a plateau up here um, so that we can't get monsters just jumping up easily. And then we'll also light things up. I really want to keep ogres and the like from just roaming around our property as much as possible. So anyway, got a lot of work to do. Um, let me do that, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I wanted to <coughs> just stop back real quick and show you that. I, so it's been raining for basically two days straight now. Um, I haven't, there's been no sun. Um, I've been doing stuff like cooking down some uh, brick. So I've been putting clay in here and cooking it down to brick. So you just stick it in there and that'll cook it down to brick. But you can see that my bat box is almost completely empty. So in just a minute, it's going to be and it won't get through very much of this. And anyway, and I've also been doing more rubber just trying to keep up on the rubber stuff we probably have enough for now until we get things going a little bit but anyway I just wanted to show that it's been <laughs> raining and this is one of the main reasons why we got to get rid of our situation here we also need to update up update this to an MFE or an MF yeah probably an MFE to start with um, but I kind of don't want to do that until we move um, until we move power so I'm going to start working down there where we've cleared out all this space and once I get all that kind of cleared out and ready to roll, um, I'm going to start building at least one of the outbuildings. I'm trying to design the uh, how I want this to look. I might do one of the outbuildings over here, one of them over there. I might clear out a space and kind of do one up on the hill. I just haven't decided yet. But I want to keep them all relatively close because I want to make sure that I, what I don't want to run into is getting too far away. The oil is going to is going to be one that we'll have to go further out for. Um, there's a little bit of oil right over there, but it's just not much. Um, so probably what I'll do, let's go take care of this guy before he becomes a problem. Um, what I'll probably do is find some oil and then we'll have to use chunk loaders for that because the way the way it works is that when you start the game up, um, only chunks that you, that are within, I don't know, so, so many so many so so well, some some distance from sorry some distance from the uh from the actual player wherever you start um the chunks load up and then when you r walk around you load more chunks as you start needing them and if you get too far away when you load when you close the game down and come back 
the chunks will unload and they won't reload when you when you start the game back up. They will stay reloaded or they'll stay loaded as you um, have a session open. Um, so if I walk a, a long way in this direction, chunks will load and they'll stay loaded as long as the session is open. But when I quit and come back, they will unload. And so the the reason that's a problem is if you get like an oil refinery or something going and it's a ways off, um, it won't be running while you're not there. So we'll want to do chunk loading, which is fine. Um, but it also is a little bit of a hazard and a little bit of a hassle in some cases. Um, water has trouble spawning sometimes. There's weird things. So cooling your engines can be an issue um, as well as just general kind of, you know, weirdness. So um, we're going to do as much as we can as close as possible and then we'll um, and then we'll go farther away when we have to and, and do everything we can to make it work. So anyway, um, I'm going to keep at it, um, get a building, one of our buildings going, and then we'll, we'll start our next project. Be right back. All right, guys, here's what I think I decided to do. So you can see this is all leveled out. Um, I've done a little bit of work with brick uh, or getting some brick ready. Um, I think what I'm going to do is attempt to use the filler. So I've got a fair amount of bricks. So basically what we do with these, we take them. I need to get rid of a bunch of this stuff. I just got too much stuff. All right, so we take these and we go like this. And we get bricks. And then we can build with those. And they look really cool, especially for kind of like a, a bottom. I don't know, you don't want to build an entire building out of them, although you could. Um, I'm, I was thinking about making this whole bottom part brick, um, but I'm really not sure how it's going to look. So what I might do is make like the first couple of rows brick. I really just don't know. But it's a it's a cool building material, and we'll need it for some other stuff later. I'm going to keep a little bit of clay around because um, I think I'm going to need that. So anyway, what I am going to do is make this filler. Um, I need some gold gears, and okay, I only have a couple pieces of gold. So let me let me smelt some gold and get ready to make the uh, the gold filler, and then I'll show you guys how that's used. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know that's what I decided for now. Um, we're just going to use a filler to build us a little a little building to start with, and then I, I really don't like doing that because I like to give our buildings a little bit more character, and I feel like it's going to be difficult to do that with. But but I would really just build a square room to start with anyway. At least it'll give us a starting point. So and it will teach you guys how to use it because it's a it's really powerful if you need to to kind of flatten or do any kind of stuff like that. So anyway, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I think I have everything I need. So this is probably a good. I didn't, I'm still smelting down some gold, but I think I had a couple of pieces in here. So I've got eight gold, um, I've got a couple of ink sacks that I had, some dandelions. <coughs> we'll use those to make dandelion yellow, so I'll get a couple of those. Um, let's take a look at this, so we can do a crafting table easy. So our gold gears, let's start with those. Um, you need th four sticks for each gear, so we'll make one, two, we're only going to need two of them. And then we go like this to make our gear so we need two then you put those in the middle and then you upgrade to the next level which in this case is stone so one two three four gives you a stone gear and we need two of those there we go and then we'll take those and we'll upgrade them to iron gears so one two one two one two one two and then we'll take those and we'll upgrade them to gold gears one two one two one two one two and then of course the next thing you could do is you could upgrade them to diamond gears but we're not going to do that right now because we don't need any diamond gears and we're short on diamonds okay so now we've got our diamond gears we actually need a couple more things um, we need some let's see we need a landmark which is a redstone torch and a piece of lapis which I do believe I have some lapis I just don't know where it's at let's go take a look down here hmm there's some lapis take that up with us and we're definitely going to need to get organized, so I'm excited to get a building going and <laughs> start that. I think I'm going to get a quarry going pretty soon, too. Um, okay, so a redstone torch is just like just like a regular torch. And then we take the redstone torch and we put a piece of lapis on top, and that gives us a landmark. We're actually going to need a couple more of those. We're going to need three more, so four in total. Um, so let's do a couple more of these. This will get... A few more sticks. Okay. And put those down here. Make a couple more of these. Oops. 
Okay, so we got four of those. And then we just need a crafting table, which is like that. So I think we have everything. It was something like this. Except I don't remember what went down there. Oh, a chest. Missing a chest. One more thing. All right. <laughs> there we go. Okay, chest. Crafting table. Landmark. Gears. Dandelion. Ink sack. There we go. Got ourselves a filler. And I think it needs power, I just realized. So I don't know if it will use a redstone engine for power. Let's check to see how we make a redstone engine. Wood and a piston. Alright, I think we have what we need for a piston. Oops. There's a piston. And... How does this work? Glass. Oh, and the gears. I always forget the gears. So we need one, two... Is that all? I think two gears is correct. Okay. So... Two wood gears. Keeps, <laughs> keeps doing that. Okay, two wood gears, glass. I have the glass. Um, glass. Two wood gears. Piston. Wood. We're going to see if this works. I don't actually know that it does, but we're going to give it a shot. We'll, might as well make us a, a lever. And we've got some cobblestone, and we've got our landmarks. So let's do this. Since I don't want to do it in the dark, um, I'm going to sleep real quick, and we'll come back and make this thing go. All right, guys, real quick, I actually decided one more thing. Um, I needed an additional um, landmark, and I went ahead and made an uh, additional redstone engine, but I realized that I didn't actually need that. Um, so let me, let me show you what I'm going to do. Um, we need a combustion engine that will actually... Um, we could use a steam engine, but I'm going to go straight to combustion because I know that there's an oil. I can go grab a bucket of oil from over there. I can get some water, and we can just kind of watch it go. And plus, I know I'm going to be using a combustion engine. That's probably the next episode. We're just going to go straight to trying to get some power going because I think power is going to be probably our most important asset short term. It's starting. To, I'm starting to realize that. So a lot of the stuff we want to do, um, we're going to need power for. So anyway, a combustion engine is just going to use iron gears iron and a piston so we're going to need to do the similar thing so we're going to need um, to make a couple of wood gears to start with and get some auto crafting stuff going so we don't have to do this manually all the time and i don't have any cobblestone amazingly enough there's some there we go couple of those and then we'll get a couple of iron gears like that um, and then we need a piston <coughs> which if I remember correctly something like that piston down here piece of glass wood and oh no not wood in this case because we're going for iron. It's going to be iron. There we go. Now we've got our one combustion engine. So did I? Oh, there, grabbed the wrong one. Okay. Um, so we will use that, and I will get a couple of buckets. Probably take all three of those for now, and that should be good. Let me uh, let me sleep again, um, or sleep. I never did in the first place, and then I will be right back. We'll go get some oil and stuff and be ready to go. All right, guys. Here we go. I think I've got everything I need. We'll at least make a, an effort at this. So the first thing we're going to do, um, I put down my landmarks. I put one there, one up there. That's how high the roof is going to be. Um, one here and one over here. So you do need four of them, right? And then you go to the intersecting, the one where all of them intersect, which is this one. You right-click on it, and you get this box. It shows you what's going to be built. Now, again, I put this down um, one block lower than the floor, so that it won't build a floor what i want it because otherwise it would build if i put that up here then it would build a floor at that level and i actually want 
the floor to be at this level. I'll, I'll clear out the middle and probably put um, some marble brick in there because I think that'll look cool for our shop floor. So anyway, um, that's where we're at. So now we should just have a couple of steps left. I should just be able to, I went, oh, I went and got some water and uh, oil bucket. In fact, just real quick, this may not be my permanent place for it, but just so we don't mess up with water and need more, we'll just make an infinite water supply here by taking two water buckets in a 4x4 four four, and now we've got as much water as we could ever use which is nice to have. Um, an infinite water supply for something that's going to suck water out needs to be 6x6 six six so that the uh, pump can sit in the middle but we'll get into that later. Okay, so now I should be able to take my filler and when I place this down you should see something happen. It should place up the uh, the caution tape lines. Right Now we just have to grab all of our uh, grab all of our landmarks there we go and then we got to do a couple more things one is we have to yeah we need to fill this up with a pattern so we're gonna do the room pattern and that's like that and then we need to give it the resources we want it to use in this case we're gonna have it use cobble for basically everything it's gonna make a ceiling and walls out of cobble and then we need to put down an engine. So this is a combustion engine again, which we will be using later. Um, I figured again, instead of, you could use a steam engine. You can use a steam engine or a combustion engine, not redstone engines, as far as I know. I wasn't able to get it to work and from what I read, it wasn't gonna work. Um, so this should now just get some oil and a couple of buckets of water just to make sure that it doesn't overheat for now. Turn it on and we should see this thing start working. There you go. So that's exactly what we'd expect. So that combustion engine will use the oil. This is the least efficient use of oil that we could possibly have. So like I said, we're gonna wanna start um, getting a whole different approach to power going and this is probably going to be the room we use to do it. I probably will put a couple of things up. I'll put a hydro power plant in here and then I'll put a combustion um, combustion powered plant in here as well. So I think we'll probably do both of those things in the next episode so that we can just get power out of the way and get rolling. So what I'll probably do, um, you don't want to get stuck in, well you can get stuck in here while it's building but you have to wait till it stops before you can get out because it'll keep replacing the blocks you try to break to get out. So anyway, as you can see, it's just going to go ahead and build this room for us we could have given it any resources i think you can also if you're clever although i don't really know how it works if you knew exactly how many let's see if it does the ceiling i think it's going to do the walls and then the ceiling if i remember correctly if you knew how many blocks that was i think you i think i don't know this for sure but i think you could stack cobble in to start and then you could make the ceiling out of glass or something by placing glass in so when it ran out of the cobble resources it would start using glass i don't know if that's the case or not but um, we'll play with that a little bit that might be kind of cool and let's go check and see what it's like on resources how it's doing so it's gone through two stacks already and it's not even got two of the walls up so i probably should go get it a little bit more cobble <laughs> to finish doing its job anyway this seems like a good stopping point um next time we will definitely be working on getting power going i'll try to get as prepared as i can i know this is a little long and they keep they keep happening that way but i'm going to try to make it um correct that start having them be shorter i know i keep saying that as well but anyway i appreciate you watching if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up um tell your friends and um leave comments i read everyone so we'll talk to you next time and so long <laughs>